What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna share to you what and how to analyze cable problems and its practical usage in engineering. So as you can see here, this is the most common application of cables. So from the bridge decks, from the bridge deck, we can see that there are a lot of weights there. The weight of the cars, the dead weight of or the dead loads from the materials made that made up or compose this bridge here and then that uh, that loads all of that weight is being carried by this uniformly spaced tension wires or tension cables and then being supported by these two cables right here that's the cable that is sagging and then by supported by this main post here or columns these two here in front and at the back so if we look at it here's the cable the deck, the towers, and the hangers. Since these two are these two cables are similar to each other, we can analyze it as 2D, just like this one. So generally speaking, there are four cases in which we can classify the cables. This is um, based on the external loads that these cables are carrying and is subjected to. The first one is if we have cables or a cable that is supporting a concentrated load so when we say concentrated load these are loads that acts only on a single point so in our example this cable right here is supporting these two loads at this point and at this point so when that happens in this first case the cable will no longer be um, the shape we've seen a while ago, but rather it became just like this. The loads, these concentrated loads, cause the cable to have um, small segments that carries forces. The second is cable that carries unif uh, carries distributed load, so from single or concentrated force now it carries distributed but then not uniform so not uniform distributed load this simply means that as we go from left to right the loads varies the loads varies as you can see here it goes up and then down up and then it becomes stronger and lesser and so it varies but not uniform and then the next case is if we have a um, cable that supports a load that is still distributed and also uniform. So it supports uniformly distributed load. So we can assume this as bridge deck. So this, if we say that this is or this has a uniform weight, then this cable carries this uniform weight. The last one is when cable when a cable carries no load but then carries itself weight this time the cable carries itself weight and this we call it as catenary the shape of this is now different from the shape of these two since these two are parabolic well this one is not Although there are cases that catenary can be assumed to be to have a parabolic shape. But what's important here is that we know how to analyze each. So the first type we have is due to or subjected to concentrated load. This one distributed and this one is and uniform. And finally the catenary due to its self weight here these three we assume that their weight is negligible compared to the loads they carry and this one we consider its weight so that's the main classification of cables based on external loads